ResortLoop.com is proud to be sponsored by Joffrey's Coffee and Tea, the official specialty coffee of Disney Parks. You can find Joffrey's Coffee and Specialty Drinks in the parks, at Disney Springs, or online at joffreys.com. Please stand clear of the doors. Por favor, manténganse alejado de las puertas. The body of water that you see to the right of our forward motion is the Seven Seas Lagoon. The Seven Seas Lagoon is a man-made creation that took three years and the removal of millions of cubic yards of earth to complete. Hey everybody, thanks for joining us. I'm Tim Scott. This is The Gateway to the Magic, also known as ResortLoop.com. If I didn't already say that, this is episode 710. Now back on episode 702, this was at the end of the holiday thon, I believe, I put out a question out there to Looper Nation. What was your favorite memory of 2019? Your favorite, favorite Disney family memory? And Mr. Brian White, him and his lovely wife Stephanie are on the show today. Hi guys. Hi. And Brian, what was your comment sure. on that thread? Um, my comment was that we had uh, planned a trip for our entire family, which was 17, included um, you know my parents, my brother, his family, my sister, her family, my wife and I, and our three kids, and and we absolutely loved the time down there. It was it was amazing. Uh, most of them had never been to Disney, so we were pretty excited to get down there and share that with them. I'm thrilled to be talking to you about this trip with 17 people. <laughs> <laughs> and you said it was fantastic. It was. It was. It was a lot of work, but it yes. was fun. And, and it really had a great outcome. And, you know, you, you worry about a lot of it and worry about if people are going to have a good time and mm -hmm. did you plan the right things. And it really did. It really all worked out really well. Right. How, did, how did it come about? Was it a you were planning a trip for 17 at the start or like the, the two of you guys going and all of a sudden everybody decided to pile on? How'd that come about? Well, we originally started about three and a half years before the trip, started talking to everybody. Um, Stephanie and I are DVC members, and so we were we were going to uh, provide the the hotel rooms, the housing for everybody, and we just wanted to make sure that number one, everybody wanted to go, and and then number two, when would be a good time to plan, <coughs> so everybody could save up for the tickets and the airfare and and, and everything. So we spent uh, about three years just kind of planning everything and getting it ready, and and um, that that's where we started. Was it a celebration, or is it just a, it's time for us all to go? It was just time for us all to go. Um, it, it was a good time to get the entire family together. We're getting larger, and, and people are getting spread out, and we thought it would be kind of a good um, – family reunion type deal and that's kind of what we thought you know get so, everybody there so often when we get together it's you know for a few hours around christmas time for um you know a birthday party for a handful of hours you know we don't really get to spend good quality time together and this trip allowed us to have you know, allowed everybody to be on vacation and kind of have that relaxed feel where there wasn't a hurry up and do things and, you know, okay, we're going to come down, but we can only be there for a couple hours and then we got to leave. And it just, it was really nice to get everybody together. And really there was no responsibility whatsoever just to have a good time. That, that's a good idea because uh, a lot of times, you know, when you go to somebody's house and you're having the big dinner, there's usually a couple of people stuck in the kitchen while everybody else is, you know, having conversation, exactly. having a good time. When you go on vacation, nobody's cooking. Everybody's kind of in that more relaxed mode, vacation mode. That's a great yes. idea. We did end up cook doing some cooking because we were fortunate enough to have rooms that had full kitchens. And 17 people at a restaurant, it's like a banquet. So <laughs> That's true. It was, we did have a few nights that we cooked, but we had it all pre-planned. Exactly. Um, you know, as far as going to the grocery store and kind of what everybody wanted. So, you know, it was... It was, it was, everybody took turns cooking. Everybody kind of pitched in and we made easy food Exactly, and it was fun. We, Stephanie and I flew down early in the morning on the Saturday that everybody flew in and she and I went to the grocery store. So we knocked that out of the way. And then when everybody else flew in later that afternoon, we were done. We were, we were able to sit back and, and relax and, in and, vacation mode. Exactly. Wow, that was nice because everyone shows up, the refrigerator is stocked, the cupboards are full. 
Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. So you said you were a DVC. And what was your resort and uh, what kind of rooms were you in? We stayed at Animal Kingdom Lodge, Kidani Village. Ooh. We had a three-bedroom Savannah View and a two-bedroom Savannah View. Wow, I and need to travel with you guys. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I got to be honest. We went into the three-bedroom and I, I, I did my fair share of spinning around in circles because it's huge. Yes. <laughs> you did your sound it's of music? House. <laughs> yes, it was it was lots of fun, and everybody had their bedrooms. Like we said, that you know the the two there were two three year olds and two five year olds, and um, there they had beds with their their parents, and and then the um, the middle group ranging from uh, sixteen years old to twenty four year old. Um, they all you know they had their they had a place where they could even get away and sit and talk when they didn't want to be around the parents, you know, but it was, it was just great to have the whole family there. It's great for the little ones to kind of talk, you know, amongst themselves without the adults. Cause that kind of makes them kind of bond together also. Absolutely. We were there for a week. We only went to the parks for two days. Uh, the rest of the time were resort days, you know, for the swimming pool. And, and, uh, we did do Disney Springs one day and, you know, got to do some shopping there, but, Absolutely loved and enjoyed the resort in, in the downtime. That was lots of fun. Only two days out of the seven. That's fantastic. That had to, that had to make it a much more relaxing vacation than if you were going commando. Very yes. much. Very much. We, like We are generally, you know, rope drop to kick to the point where they're kicking us out when we go yes. down there. Mm-hmm. Um, but not everybody Disney's the way we Disney, and we understand that. And um, because most of these people had never been there. We wanted them not to have a, okay, I need a vacation from my vacation. Mm-hmm. We really wanted that downtime. Right. So Very the, the parks were busy days, but we, like I said, had lots of lead up time to and relax time in between. So what were your parks of choice? We went to Animal Kingdom first and then Magic Kingdom second. So we, we always like to try and add or end on Magic Kingdom and with that extra bit of magic. Mm-hmm. And uh, so that's that's how we chose to do it this time. And it worked out, I thought, amazing. When we first started planning three and a half years ago, it was going to be um, Hollywood Studios and Magic Kingdom. Um, and- based on the fact that they weren't opening Galaxy's Edge until sometime in December. So we were like, yeah, that'll be perfect. We won't have a whole lot of crowds. And then they announced it was going to be open or it would be open and then smugglers run would be open at the end of August. So that rapidly changed because we were just, we didn't want them to get there and there'd be so many people that it just didn't make it fun. Right. So we opted for animal kingdom also because Epcot had so much construction starting around that same time frame. So we just figured animal kingdom would give us the most to see and probably the least busy ish. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And we, we picked a time of year that it wouldn't be, we, well, we hoped it wouldn't be too crazy. And we really had good crowds. We yeah, had good very crowd good levels. crowds. Yes. Awesome. We went November 9th through the 16th, Saturday to Saturday. So it worked out a perfect time frame, really. The weather was very nice mm-hmm. and um, the crowds were low. Now, when you were touring the parks, were you going in as a group of 17? And how did you do that? Did you go in and people just split up or did y'all kind of hang together? Did you get fast passes? How did all that happen? For the most part, we stayed together half of the day, I'll say. The other half, what we called the middles, again, ranging from 16 to 24, they went off and did their thing. And then the rest of us stayed together. So six of, of the group went off, did their thing. And then the rest of us would stay together all day just because they hadn't been to the parks and didn't know what to do. Mm -hmm. So they wanted to stay with us for their comfort level. And it it actually worked out very well. We were able to get fast passes for all 17 of us when we were together. And then when the, the middles were off, they had their own fast passes they were doing, and we were doing rides that were better for, you know, more focused on the three to five year olds, which is another thing I love about Disney. You can go on a ride that's great for a three or five year old, and it's also great for a 71 year old. Absolutely. So, yeah, we love that. So it, it worked out well. We stayed together and we thought that that would be um, more difficult than it ended up. It would actually was a lot easier 
Um, we had rented strollers that had been delivered to our um, resort, and that was worked out great. So each kid, each little kid had a, a stroller and also a nice place to tuck away souvenirs when you, so you didn't have to carry them, but worked right. out well. That's the one thing we missed when we didn't need a stroller anymore. It's like, well, where do we put our drinks? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's why I make Brian carry a backpack. Uh, yes. <laughs> I always carry a backpack. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> it was, it was lots of fun. We, we had certain meals that we had, reserved um you know made the dining dining reservations and they all were amazing um we did um chef mickey's for breakfast okay for character breakfast i was gonna ask what your favorite places were for uh that's big of a group chef mickey's awesome chef, chef Mickey. mickey's yes they were very we actually when we originally planned we wanted planned this we wanted cape may cafe thinking mm-hmm. we'd be able to get in there with a group of 17 um and here, when it came time to make dining reservations, we couldn't get in. So we ended up over at Chef Mickey's. And honestly, it was having never been to Chef Mickey's before. Um, I don't know if it was the little kids that were more excited or if it was <laughs> the grownups. The grown-ups. Everybody was so excited to see the characters. Um, I know people talk about it can be pretty loud. And I, I can understand that. But you know what? When you're there with kids... It's okay if it's loud. It's exactly. part of it. Right. So, right. It's hard to keep a group of 17 quiet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We actually did that on one of our our non-park days, um, kind of for something to do, but it didn't take up the whole day. Right. And then afterwards, because we were at the Contemporary, we kind of did a tour via the monorail. We went over and toured or took the monorail through Epcot. Mm-hmm. So they could see Epcot Ball, even though we weren't going to the park, they could at least see it. And then we rode the resort loop, of course. Of course. Um, starting, we got back we um, from Epcot, we walked over to Polynesian and then picked up the monorail, went back to the Contemporary. Yeah. And it was nice. It, it made for a nice day. And we went back to the resort and hung out. Exactly. So our, our other meal, well, we had two other ones. Um, our Magic Kingdom day, we planned... Crystal Palace, primarily because we did the park and we attached the Christmas party onto that. So we knew it was going to be a long day. Right. And we wanted a spot for everybody to be able to go and sit. I think we planned like a 3.30 time frame was our, what time we ate. So it was kind of that in between lunch and dinner. So it wasn't too busy inside the restaurant. Um, but we got to see the parade and then we ran over there and ate and it was just nice for everybody to sit down and relax and get to meet more characters, but they weren't the same characters, you know, it was mm-hmm. Pooh Bear and mm-hmm. Piglet and all of those guys. So exactly. And they were, they were wonderful there too. It was very easy for the 17 of us to get in there and eat and no problems. I was amazed at how accommodating everyone was. I knew that they would be, but yet when you go in with a group of 17, you're, you're hesitant to see how it plays out. And, and I thought it played out very well at all the restaurants. Our, our final big restaurant was at uh, T-Rex in Disney Springs. And again, they... They were amazing. Yes. Now, with a group of 17 to ensure you get to sit together at T-Rex, because it's not run by Disney, you have to book that as a, a party, I guess, if you will. Okay. Uh, so, or catering, however you want to call it. So I did that in advance through the restaurant. So we had it all booked up so that we had our choice. Like we chose just for people to order out what they wanted off the menu, but you can make a decision like, okay, here are your choices of entrees and, and all of that. But um, the biggest thing for us was just, we wanted to make sure we all got to sit together because right. that, that was our last big meal together before everybody flew home. So, right. um, and that was wonderful. They were, T-Rex was amazing. I, I can't, I can't give them enough credit for how they handled our whole group. They really were wonderful. Right. Now with a group that large, what was a better dining experience the way you found it? Was it like the buffet restaurants like chef Mickey's or was it like something, let's sit down T-Rex was one better than the other for a group that size. Did it make a difference? I almost like T-Rex better because you didn't have to leave the table. Mm -hmm. Um, I will, again, that's another thing I was hesitant about, you know, making sure all the food comes out for a group of 17 is difficult, but they did such an amazing job that it was, 
it was really nice to be able to just go in, sit down and, and then order your food and it have it delivered. But having said that, the, the other meals were, were great also. I wouldn't hesitate to do them again. I know a lot of people I hear like say that the food is not great at Chef Mickey's. I've never had that thought when I was there. Everything I, I've been getting there has been fantastic. We, ours was also. Yes, we had. We heard like of those three restaurants, neither one of us had eaten at Chef Mickey's or at Crystal Palace. Mm. And honestly, I was impressed with the food in both places. Yes, you know, and, and the characters were great. They were attentive. They didn't like run over and run away real quick. They spent the time with us and you know signed autograph books and took lots of pictures. And um, but no, I thought the food was very good in, in at Chef Mickey's. Yes, absolutely. I would go back in a heartbeat. Yes, that's good to know. I will say one of the, we did Kilimanjaro Safari at Animal Kingdom. And you want to talk about a hit for absolutely everybody that was there Uh from the tiniest to, to the oldest. They, everybody loved that ride and and the whole experience. Did you all get on the same vehicle? Is that? Yes. 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 There was nothing more fun. That was the very first ride we did of the whole week. And it was kind of fun walking up and the, the cast members like how many? 17 and you kind of see her go a little pale in the face <laughs> kind of like oh <laughs> okay you guys stand here i'm gonna get you your own bus and we're like thank you <laughs> oh, that is outstanding <laughs> the other one we got was uh jungle cruise so we got in we got our own boat with that too oh. so <laughs> we having not with our kids being older we haven't been to disney with little children mm-hmm um, in a very long time. And um, it was so much fun to get to do that again and to see the excitement on their faces. Um, we went to Festival of the Lion King show. Uh-huh. And it's always it. been one of my favorites. Mm-hmm. And I just knew the kids were going to love it, but I had no idea how much they were going to love it to the point that they still talk about it. Yes. And, you know, they, of course, they all want to go back. Um, but I want to go see the Lion King show. I want to go see the Lion King show. And they love the Lion King show. And it, it was so much fun to watch, you know, just to watch the magic in there through their eyes. Yes. It was a new perspective or a renewed perspective, I guess. Yes. Did you guys happen to yeah. use the, uh, memory maker photo option at all? Yes. yes. How did that yes. work out for you guys with that many people? Great. Um, so we are annual pass holders, so mm-hmm. it's included. Oh, that's um, right. The, the hardest part for us was making sure in the planning process and um, the cast members we spoke to concerning my Disney experience were great because we had to make sure everybody was linked. And we had mm-hmm. just in case people did go off on their own, if they wanted those pictures, we wanted to make sure, you know, we had them on our memory maker so we could get them and print them out for them and things like that. We didn't use it as much as I think we would have liked. Um, And a lot of that was just, we didn't want to stand around in line a whole bunch. Right. Um, So we used them mainly for group pictures. There was one particular cast member, I don't remember his name, but the gentleman that took all of our pictures in front of the castle, he probably spent 20, 25 minutes with our family taking pictures. Oh, wow. And um, it was great. So we got really great photos of everybody there and in front of Magic Kingdom. I don't know if we got any yet. Animal Kingdom, to be honest. Not as a family. No. Um, but what I loved is the rides to see the kids, you know, the the pictures that are taken while you're on the ride. Mm-hmm. You get all those on, on the, the photo pass. And um, to see all those looking back and see the kids' faces where they were riding them. And, and the adults, too. Oh, absolutely. It was, you know, I, I will good. say to anybody who's not an annual pass holder, um, Memory makers worth absolutely worth it one hundred percent of the time. I mean, if you're gonna if you're going down there for one day, maybe not. But if you're going down there for a vacation and it's your I don't care if it's your first time or your fiftieth time to Disney, something's gonna come up in one of those pictures that's gonna be such an amazing memory that it is absolutely worth it as far as I'm concerned. Just buy it in advance so you don't have to pay the higher price. Right. Exactly. I bet you have really great pictures. I mean, I imagine you guys probably filled up like you know. The entire boat picture was everybody in your family, that kind of thing, right? Yes. Yes. Oh. Yes. So, yeah, it was it was really, really great. Oh, that's awesome. So I would highly, highly recommend Memory Maker. When we started planning, I created spreadsheets 
for my Disney experience, uh, passwords and everybody. The, the one advantage that we had with n not many people having gone before, mm -hmm. we controlled all of that when we planned. So we had all the passwords. We could set everything up and make sure that we were all linked correctly and 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 things like that. So, like I said, three years of, of planning, we we were very excited. And the ones that didn't know how to pre-plan may have gotten a little overwhelmed because we were always asking questions. <laughs> do you right. want to ride this ride? Do you want to ride that ride? What do you want for dinner? What do you want for snacks? Those types of things. But And we had a very our family worked very well together they were very much all for just hey you guys plan it we're going to show up exactly. so you know they they were we didn't have to deal with a lot of conflicting personalities and people saying no oh, i don't want to do that i want to do this instead which we gave them plenty of opportunities you know hey tell us what you want and honestly the i we asked what's the one thing you want to see well we're there and it was a resounding they wanted to see parades and fireworks yes okay so that's, we made sure we saw both parades the day we were at Magic Kingdom, both um, Fat Festival of Fantasy and the Christmas Parade. And then, of course, we were there for the new holiday fireworks. So that was yes. the first for us, and they're wonderful. Um, so that was that was great. We we were very excited to get to see all of that. Yes. Now, what did they think of the fireworks? They got to, I've got to imagine if this, this was their first trip, they've never seen fireworks anywhere near like that before. They were in awe. I... I the the little kids, um, I held the one five-year-old in my arms, oh. and he was just in awe the entire time. Um, the the two, Every, yeah. Everybody, even all the way up through the adult, the adults, are just, wow. And I'm like, yeah, kind of ruins Fourth of July now, doesn't it? It does. <laughs> well, we love, even our, our oldest son, you know, he's, he's 24. He was in awe, and he had been there before, and he was really much enjoying the, um, the everything, the whole experience. And that kind of made us happy that, you know, he's, he's a 24 year old kid out living on his own and doing everything and, and still enjoyed the parks with us. Wow. Now, would you, uh, recommend the Christmas party? Not just for a yeah. family that large, just in general. Yeah. Yes. I've, always enjoyed the, the Christmas party. Yeah. It's been good. Um, yeah, it's, it's really cool. There's something about the, and you can't see me, but the free in quotations, um, cookies that you get. Mm -hmm. Um, but it is neat. It is neat to go up and get a cookie and, and cocoa or whatever particular station you're at. Um, and they're playing the Christmas music and of course everything's decorated and, um, the lines for us, I know some people say they don't have that experience, but the lines for us were really good. Yes. I mean, they weren't all walk on. No. I walked on to pirates. I literally, the longest part of the ride was probably just walking through all of the turnstiles, but, or the, you know, the, um, through the queue. Yeah. Yes. The queue. yeah. Uh -huh. we, we literally walked, the boat was sitting and waiting. We walked onto the boat. So it was, you know, that was, that was nice. Um, like I think Space Mountain had a little bit of a wait, but it wasn't bad. No. Um, but really, just the festiveness of it, you know, for us because we went in, in November, it made it that much more fun. We got there, and all of a sudden, when we're done, we're like, "Yeah, we're ready for Christmas now. This is fun." Exactly. Since you were good, the guys organizing the trip, did you feel any pressure to make sure everything went well? I know they, everyone said they were open to pretty much anything. Was there any? Did you yeah. feel any pressure? <laughs> Sure, yes. We put we put all, the pressure on ourselves. Absolutely. I it, I don't I didn't feel at all that they had put pressure on us or mm -hmm. anybody. Right, right. Um, nobody was demanding on anything, but we put the pressure on ourselves because we wanted everybody to experience the magic and see what we see. Mm -hmm. We we're fortunate we we get to go to Disney often and and. Um, you know, like I said, most most of them had never been. So we wanted them to get to experience and see why we love it so much, you know. And so we put we put the pressure on ourselves, but uh, it was still fun. We had lots of lots of enjoyment watching YouTube videos and mm -hmm. listening to the resort loop about different things, and oh. you know, just 
doing all the planning and having fun. I, I really think, I know some people don't like the planning aspect of the trips because it, it can absolutely be overwhelming. I am a research person. I have no problem sitting at a computer for hours on end, falling down that Disney rabbit hole and looking at everything there is. Uh -huh. So, um, and changing my mind 500 times to the point that one of these days they're going to call me and be like, Mrs. White, you haven't changed your dining reservations in two days. Is everything okay? <laughs> um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so for me, even though it was a long planning period, I, I loved it. I had a great time doing it. Yes. It was fun. <laughs> I got to say, it was very smart of you to, you know, book a nice week-long trip, but only plan on going into the park two days. I think a lot of people miss a lot of the resort aspects of the vacation and the, doing things like Disney Spring. Springs, were you able to swim? Was the weather warm enough for that? Yes. Absolutely. Yes. I think we had one day that was kind of rainy, and it was it was actually kind of neat. It, yeah, sorry. It was one of our resort days that we had kind of planned to – we actually had originally planned to go over to Jumbo House and go swimming in their pool that day. But it was rainy. I, it was chilly. It was not a swimming day. Um, so we actually went to the community hall that they have in Kidani Village and did arts and crafts, and they had a pool table. Um, we did that. The animals are still out walking around. So we, you know, we sat on our balcony and watched the animals. Mm -hmm. And um, there was still plenty to do. Yes. So it, it, in looking at the different resorts, when we first started trying to decide where we were going to stay, it was really important for us that we went to a resort that A, had a great pool mm -hmm. and B, had activities outside of just going to the parks because we knew we weren't going to do you know, four solid days at the parks plus whatever, you know, we wanted to, we wanted that resort time. So it felt like a relaxing vacation. Was um, it? and really animal kingdom lodge fits all of that. I, I can't recommend that, um, resort enough. Mm -hmm. it, it really was wonderful. Where else can you stay at a resort and have a giraffe outside your balcony? You know, yes. It, it, it was amazing. And that, that was something, again, when we were trying to figure out where to stay, because we talked about Old Key West because it's beautiful and mm -hmm. it's quiet and relaxing. And, you know, our, our home resort is Polynesian, which we absolutely love. Um, we That was an option was to stay there. We just would have to forego, of course, the kitchens because, mm -hmm. you know, very few people can actually afford the bungalows. Um, <laughs> but uh, including us. So <laughs> that wasn't an option. Um but we were like, where can we go that's inherently Disney? And there's, I don't think there's any place else in the United States that you can wake up in the morning and open up your window and you're like, is that a herd of wildebeest? Right. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so that's why that was, that was what we wanted. We wanted that unbelievable experience for them. I'm sure they loved it. I'm sure they still talk about it to this day. Oh, yes. We, we hope so. We look forward you know, will we go back as a group of 17? Um, probably not, um, or or not soon, only because it, it does take a while for everybody to save up the money and be mm -hmm. in, in, you know, the position to do that. But we, we look forward to getting down in small groups with, with everybody. and Have a little more one-on-one -on -one time. Yes. You know, so, but it was, am I glad we did it? Absolutely, 100%. Yes. I wouldn't. I wouldn't trade it for anything in this world. Correct. That was my last question I had on my paper here. Was it, would you do it again? Are you planning on doing it again? No, I'll bet if some of those people are planning on going back, you know, if family members are planning on going back on them themselves, they're going to turn to you and you'll be more than willing to help them out. Oh, oh absolutely. absolutely. And even at work, it's, I'm always, you know, okay, I have a Disney question. And I'm like, <laughs> bring it on. Right. <laughs> If there's nothing else, I could sit and talk Disney all day long. That's it. I'm your girl. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> awesome. Well, before we wrap she up. She is by far the best planner. Oh, thank oh. you, dear. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> before we wrap it up, do you have any tips that you throw out to somebody who's maybe thinking about doing this? You know, maybe taking a couple of years and planning and doing something like what you guys did. Be patient. Yes, be patient. Watch videos. Watch. Get on YouTube and and search Listen to podcasts, Resort Loop, great place, right? <laughs> Thank um, you. <laughs> we we are also, um, I'm a big fan of um, Len Testa and, and uh, touring, touring plans. plans. Oh, love Len. 
-hmm. Yes. And um, so I, that's another, I will spend many hours planning a trip at home, building my own touring plan and then seeing how it plays out when we go. Yeah. So it's even more fun when he puts it all in there and pushes the little button and they're like, you can't do all that in one day. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, those, those are my recommendations. And, but I would, I wouldn't hesitate a uh, large group. We, we had a great time. And like I said, everybody was accommodating and, and, uh, only a couple times did the cast members, like Stephanie said, turn white when you walk up <laughs> to a ride and say there's a group of 17. But uh, <laughs> they they even had fun with it. Though. Yes. Yes. It was fun. It was fun to get you know, everybody had their my first visit buttons on. And it, it Just the little things, you know, it's like Disney, right? It's in the details. So it's all of those little things that, you know, if you can, especially if you're somebody who goes to Disney often, you can point that stuff out because they might not notice it. Mm -hmm. If you're going with a group of people, that's not been, um, and it's fun to get to point that out. Yeah. You become a little bit of a tour guide, but like Brian said, you know, just go down there with that. I want you guys to see why I love Disney so much. And this is why. Exactly. Oh, I love that so much. Well, guys, thank you very much. If anybody has any questions for you, um, where can people find you? Um, wow. Um, that's a great question. Are you on the Facebook? Are you on anything? Or um, Facebook? I'm under Stephanie Lawrence White, and I'm under Brian White. And I think that's probably the easiest. The easiest. Way. That's, yeah. <laughs> Are you we're part? Not, not all the social media, um, <laughs> but um, well, yeah, we can be if we ask our 16 year old daughter. Exactly. She teaches us. There you go. So. That's sometimes that's the best thing to do. <laughs> yes. Oh, also on Instagram. Um, the whites 8822. That's another one. There you go. I'll have to check that one out. <laughs> yes. I'll bet there's good pictures. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, Brian, Stephanie, thank you for so much for taking time to talk to us. Thank you. Thank you. It was fun. Awesome. I'm Tim Scott. This is uh, resortloop.com, the gateway to the magic. Uh, you can find us on Facebook, Twitter, the website, resortloop.com. Everyone, please go out there and share the gateway to the magic. Wrap it up, guys. Have a good have day. A good night. Thanks for everything. You say, see everybody. See you, everybody. everybody. That'll work. Sorry. <laughs> no, you're fine. <laughs> <laughs>Vacation memories will stay with you and your family for a lifetime. The Resort Loop Travel Group was created with this in mind. Our fee-free services will relieve you of the stress and confusion of finding and booking the best vacation at the best price. After booking, we will continue to monitor for ways to save you even more on your vacation. We will check for any upcoming packages and discounts to save you as many vacation dollars as possible. Resort Loop Travel Group, gateway to your magical vacation memories. Get a quote or for more information, visit resortlooptravelgroup.com.